Okay, I am... Hi, this is Lisa Marie Jean-Pierre with The Goddess on the Go, and I am re-recording this video that I just did. I'm sh trying to show you guys how I use my uh, iOS planner or iOS reminders to plan um, all of the things that I have for myself. Goals, intentions, routines, um, just everything that I want to work on in the new year for myself. So I'm just going over it now again, since I can't figure out how to use this app, but I'm getting there. Um, you should see how I have all of the months as folders. It looks like little folders, but they're actually reminders. And the drop down shows all of the different lists that I included in, in all of those areas for myself, the things that I want to focus on it, focus on in the new year. Personal development, you see daily routines, workflow, um, personal routines, daily rituals, um, and that specific January 2024 tab is kind of like a blueprint for the month, how I will be organizing all of these different lists on a daily basis. Um, I also have, you know, all the other things that are, are important for me to remember, bills, monthly expenses, monthly goals. And again, another list for personal development, but that's a separate tab outside of the one that I have um, at the top. And here I'm just showing how to create another list um, or a smart list because I didn't show that in the beginning. And this is just another way of creating a list that has, um, I would say it has priority over all the other lists that you create because it allows you to set tags, um, set a particular date, um, a time, location, which I don't use, and flag, which gives it um, kind of like a high priority. So it's going to keep it at the top of, of your workflow or the dashboard. That's what I call it on the reminders. Um, the other things as far as priority, I set those as well. The list that I have set up, because this is my personal phone, is there are only two on there so far. The shopping list, which is broken down into different categories or sections. That's how I set it up. And then a reading and a listening list for audiobooks and actual physical books that I read. So I'm just showing here again how I'm setting up the list for grounding, which is another uh, daily ritual that I, that I am intentionally looking to practice going into the new year. Um, this is a default list that is set up because it has the tabs or the tags um, that kind of correlate to this particular activity because it has self-care on there and that is an act of self-care. Reading. So again, you'll see that I'm just here trying to create another list and um, it didn't let me, So, or another reminder under the list, it did not rem let me do it. So I just kind of just got out of there because it was so um, frustrating, annoying, not really frustrating, but I'm just showing you again how I'm using the list and the reminders to intentionally show up for myself. Um, I have a lot of books, a lot of planners, a lot of things that I'm using to write down my goals. I started this in October, <clears throat> so it's not a new process, but I really want to integrate using the phone in addition to what I write down on paper because I, I write down so many things on paper, as I'm sure many of you do. You know, planners are awesome when you can get them to work for you, so I'm trying to do both in the new year, have a digital list digital reminder system, and also have a physical list and reminder system. The physical one is a lot messier because I just write things down, kind of dumping them in one area. But this list gives me a, a better view and a better outlook on each day, um, the importance of each, of each task, and how I want to prioritize it going forward. I'm Again, I'm just showing how it's set up the the folders or the reminders at the top are defaulted to my iCloud account. And then the middle one is defaulted to my business account. Um, the tags I set up are for personal use here. And I'm just kind of giving an example of how those are being used or how, or how I'm using them. And, you know, I just click on a particular topic and then I can use that tag to actually create a smart list and then that list 
will be um, prioritized by adding a flag to it. That's what I, I'm finding out because last week I watched a lot of videos that kind of helped me to get a better idea and understanding of how to make this work for me. Even though I don't have it 100% down, I'm just kind of focusing on the things that I, I need um, need to remember as far as priority, you know, the things that are more important to me. And I'm going to filter from there. That's kind of how my brain works. Um, I can get a lot of information at one time and then I filter it down as I go to um, make it work better for me. And this is a better system. So I'm going to stick with it because I did not know that Apple had so many different things that were free included with our phones. But again, I'm just showing here, I just set up a meditation smart list and it automatically defaults to these particular lists in there. Or Yeah, because those are the ones that I set up with particular tags to automatically um, have like a continuous thread so that I will be intentionally accountable to seeing them no matter what I do because they're all going to have the same task or list inside of them. So I have to look at it no matter which note or which reminder or list that I open it'll have daily planning on there. And that's just a constant reminder for me to, to plan something daily. And I'm just, you know, going through it again, showing you how the flagged areas um, have particular lists in them. And the shopping list, I segmented into sections. So one portion is for food. The other portion is for personal care and health. And then at the bottom is just like miscellaneous things that um, I need to take care of or I need to focus on. But I think it's still a really good start for anyone who is trying to organize themselves and they have a, um, a reminder system on their phone. Um, this specifically is for iOS, for Apple phones. So, you know, you can kind of take a look at that if you have it and you haven't really used it yet. Just go online, watch this video, then go online and kind of do a little bit more research to see which features are going to benefit you the most. And um, let me know in the comments if this video was helpful to you. I'm still trying to figure it out and I'm going to continue to share more as I learn more and hopefully we will continue to grow together. Thanks for watching.